Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have published around 7 YouTube videos covering basic concepts of Tricentis Tosca. By now, you are very much familiar with all the concepts that are required to start test case automation by using latest version Tosca. So this is our lesson 8 where I'm going to teach you the initial step that is required to automate test cases. For automating the test cases by using Tosca, we need to follow the series of steps. I'm going to teach you in detail in couple of next sessions to automate the test cases. What are all the steps that we need to follow to complete test case automation of your manual test cases. So this is lesson eight, where I'm going to teach you the first step where we'll be creating a test case structure by using test case module in Tosca 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, so to create test case structure in Tosca, First, we need to navigate around the test case section. So in this session, I'm going to teach you the navigation of your test case section. And then we are going to define and create the folder structure for test case creation that reflects your business workflow. So I'm going to take you an example and I'm going to teach you creation of the folder structure for that particular use case. And also, elements containing the sequence information. That means the test case structure, nothing but the elements that contains the sequence of the information. And to create test cases, we need to actually call the modules that we created in earlier sessions. I already explained to you how to create the modules, right? So the modules are related to technical information and the test cases are related to business information. So we will be creating test cases by using the modules that we already created. Okay. And also we need to have a proper naming convention while creating test cases or test case folder structure. So we, and also we need to use the three approval stages, stages while creating the test cases. That means when you are when you start creating the test case, you will be changing the status as planned in Tosca. And then once you start progressing in the test case structure or creation of the test case, you will be changing the status to in work. So once the then once we complete test case creation, we'll be changing the status to completed. Okay, so this session is mostly concentrated on the test case folder structure creation. So in the subsequent sessions, I'm going to teach you other steps so that we can complete test case automation fully. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we create test case structure by using Tosca latest version 16. Okay, so first let me explain you what is the test case that we are going to automate in today's session and we are going to carry forward the automation of this test case in the upcoming couple of sessions okay so as i explained to you so test case automation in tricent is tosca is involved with five to six sequence of steps i'm going to teach you each step clearly with an example so that you can understand how to automate your test case okay so in this session i'm going to teach you how to first step of your test case automation where you will be creating a test case structure right so i already explained you what does this test case structure in my previous slide so now let's understand what is the test case that we are going to automate okay so here 
this is as I explained you in my previous sessions. I'm going to use demo web shop. It's a website provided by Tricentis. Okay. So our test case is user need to log in with valid credentials. Once he logins with valid credentials, you, he need to order an item. What is ordering an item? Okay. So first we will be logging in by using a user and then order the product. So let me order apparels and shoes. So please remember the sequence of the business flow. Basically business information are the sequence of the process flow that we are talking here. Okay. That really helps in automating your test case. So now what I'm doing, I'm ordering the product by clicking on the add to cart. I'm ordering blue jeans. Once I order the product, now I need to start checkout process. How? Go to shopping cart and then agree with the terms of service and then click on checkout. So this is your start checkout process and then checkout process. So start checkout just now we did and now what is the process to complete your checkout? That is provide your billing address and then select your shipping address and then select your shipping method. So this I already explained in my previous session. Okay. Select your shipping method and then you have to select your payment method, cash, credit card, etc, etc. And then you need to see the payment information and then you click on continue here and next step is see we just ordered the product started the checkout and we completed checkout process now what is the next step verification of the prices so i need to verify what is the shipping cost what is the payment method additional fee what is my total cost and what is my quantity right so verification of the prices is next step once that is done i need to click on confirmation that is confirmation step what is the confirmation step click on confirmation and then see if you get the order number or not right and what is our next step is verification of success you need to verify if the order has been successfully processed and then you got the order number okay so what are all the steps we it involves the test case involves first login order product start checkout checkout process verification of prices confirmation and verification of success so these are all the sequence of actions that i need to automate to automate my entire test case so now for this we need to create a folder structure in Tricentis Tosca. So this is my Tricentis Tosca. I have already explained you a different sections of modules, requirements, execution, test cases, right? I already explained in my previous session. I would recommend you guys to visit previous session to understand more about current session. Okay. So now first, to automate your test case, you need to create a test case structure. Okay. So for that, first let me, so this is my test case section. So which is in blue and green color. Okay. Blue color. Basically the blue color section is test case section. Okay. I'm in test case section. First, let me create right click on the test case, the main test case folder and then create a folder. This is our eighth session, correct? So I want to create a folder called 08. Sorry, session. Okay, 08 in work. Okay. Let's under this folder, I want to create another folder. Right click on the folder and click on create folder. The name, name this as session. Sorry, session 
zero eight test case structure. So we are creating test case structure. Structure. That's why I'm naming the test case folder as a test case structure. Okay. What is our test case? Shipping cost. Basically, what we are doing, we are actually verifying the shipping cost and then successful message, right? I want to create a test case now. In this folder, see naming convention of your folder structure are the folders and the test cases are very, very important. Okay. Create right click and this is your folder. I want to create a test case. So this is the symbol of your test case. The round circle with arrow. Okay. Create test case and name this as shipping costs. Okay. So if you see here, this is my test case. Okay. And now you need to navigate to test cases. How? You just in the left side, this is your high level work structure. Correct. Double click on this and the right side is where you will be planning or you will be writing your test steps okay so now as soon as you create your test case the work state needs to be changed see if you see the by default work state is planned because now i started working on this particular test case mark this as in work i explained you the states of your test cases in my previous slide okay now my test case is in the work right i'm working on this test case here under this test case i need to create test step folder structure so this is my test case structure test case folder structure once i create a test case you need to create test step folder structure okay right click let me create three folders my first Test step folder structure is precondition. And then my second folder is a process, actual process. And then the third folder is post condition. Right? So I created the folder structure of my test steps. Under this process, let's expand the left side, okay? Under this process, I want to create six different folders. Okay. So for that, you just click on process folder in the left pane so that the process will be opening in your right pane. Okay. Now I need to create six different folders. Right click. So I explained you the process where the login process, right? Login, order, order product start checkout right so that is what i'm going to create now so first what is the process first i need to create or i need to order the product right order product once i order the product what is my test case flow start checkout start checkout once you start the checkout checkout process need to complete correct so check out where you'll be entering uh, your uh, shipping method payment method and all these things check out process so check out process is done and then you need to verify the prices so right click again create folder verification of prices right once that is done, my next is confirmation. I have to confirm the order, right? Confirmation. Okay. Once confirmation is done, you need to verify the successful order placement. Correct? Right click, create folder, verification of success. Verification of success right so now i have created six different folders under process so if you go to test case now if you see here this is my entire test case structure my test case is some test case like right, called test case 
structure. Under this, I have created one test case called shipping cost. Under this test case, I have created three main folders. Precondition, process, post condition. And then under process, I have defined the flow of the process. Order product, start checkout, checkout process, verification of prices, confirmation, verification of success. So that means now this test case is a meaningful test case. This defines my business flow. I created a test case structure with a business flow. Right? So for this session, that is it. So in the next session, so once you create your test case structure, now you need a technical, I already explained about modules, right? Where we store the technical information of your system under test. And this is your test case structure. So now we need to combine the technical information with test case structure and provide your business information or the test data that is required to steer your test case, right? So our first step of our test case automation is done. So in the next session, I'm going to teach you our next step to complete our test case automation by using Tasca. Okay. So if you have any queries, provide your comments in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you.